Good morning everyone, this is Amit Prabhari, Founder and Managing Director of CR Forex. There are some days in the market which are days of confusion where we do not understand whether a currency is going to get weaker or stronger. There is some kind of phenomena currently in the market about dollar rupee, whether it is going to go towards 83, 80 or 84 kind of a level or whether it is going to move towards 82, 50 or 82. 80 kind of level when there is such kind of confusion what we generally do is that we write down in a piece of paper what are the positive factors which can affect the dollar rupee pair and what are the negative factors which can affect so let me start in today's presentation with positive factors first so the first positive factor is robust inflows from the month of january till the month of march we have received inflows worth 8.5 billion dollars and we are expecting that flows in Indian equity market will continue because of stronger fundamentals. Apart from that, there are few companies like Bank of India and others are also there which are in pipeline to raise funds close to 3 to 4 billion in next couple of months. Second important factor is reducing current account deficit. Our current account deficit for the period of April 2023 to December 2023 came at 31 billion dollars when compared with April 2022, say like December 2022, where it came at 65 billion dollars. So there is a reduction of close to 34 billion dollars. We are expecting that current account deficit will continue to shrink because of higher service exports. That is a positive factor for rupee. Third positive factor is RBI is having reserves close to $642 billion. And we have seen in the past that RBI is very strong. Whenever the pair is moving higher, they can sell and intervene. Fourth positive factor for dollar rupee pair is 10 year US yield is not crossing 4.3 ka level. Despite dollar index moving up, 10 year yield has been falling from last two weeks. That is giving us a confidence that the rise in the dollar index can be temporary. Now let us see what are the negative factors which can affect dollar rupee pair. So first negative factor is Chinese currency. Chinese currency has moved from 7.20 to 7.27 kind of a level in last couple of weeks. If Chinese currency continues to trade higher, it can put pressure on all Asian and Asian currencies and Indian rupee. The second negative factor is dollar index. Dollar index has moved from 150 uh, kind of a level to 104.50 kind of a level in last couple of weeks. If dollar index continues to move higher, then it can put pressure on all emerging market currencies and Asian currencies. But what we think that dollar index can face resistance near 105 level because as the days will pass on, Fed will be in a pressure to cut interest rate at the faster pace. If that cycle begins, then we are expecting dollar index to move back to 102 and 100 kind of levels. Now let us discuss outlook for rupee. In the medium to long term, the positives are more than the negative. So it is giving us 100% confidence that 8340 to 8360 is going to act as a strong resistance for the pair and gradually the pair is going to move towards 83 and 8280 kind of a level in coming days. The major downtrend of the pair will start once the pair breaks 82.50 kind of level. For the short term, in the coming week, RBI monetary policy is there. We are expecting that RBI will keep the interest rate at the same level and because of which, technically speaking, it will become a non-event. For the coming week, the range will be 8310 on the lower side and 8345 on the higher side. Now let me discuss strategy for thin margin exporters like agri exporters or chemical exporters. 
most of them are taking costing between 80C to 83.25 kind of level. What we suggest thin margin exporter is that they should cover 100% on a back to back basis. There are three logical reasons why they should cover 100% on a back to back basis. First reason is that we have seen RBI intervening strongly between 83.40 to 83.50 kind of a level. Second, as the premiums are low and if rupee uh, changes its trend all of a sudden, then it will be difficult for thin margin exporters to maintain costing of the new order and the current order. Third important reason is common business sense says that when you are in the money, you will book profit. Apart from that, if anyone wants to wait, they can keep a strict stop loss of 83.10 or costing whichever is higher. Now let us discuss strategy for thick margin exporters like textile exporters or engineering exporters. They should definitely take advantage of the recent move in a dollar rupee pair. So between 83.30 to 83.45 kind of a level, they should increase the hedge ratio. If someone is hedging on a confirmed order basis, they should go and hedge 90 to 95% of their exposure. If someone is hedging on anticipation basis, they can take the hedge ratio towards 70 to 75%. Now let us discuss strategy for importers. Importers should focus only on covering near term imports between 83.20 to 83.25 kind of a level, they can cover 50% of the imports which are due for next 15 days. Apart from that, they can wait for lower levels between 82.80 and 80C to cover their imports. With this, I will end my today's presentation. Jai Hind. Namaskar. Film next week. Thank you.